Hi, welcome back to Burbex. Today we're going to be exploring this huge, abandoned, in construction shopping mall. Inside, there's a beautiful abandoned car and a chairman's office like you wouldn't believe. It's one of the most exciting things I've found in a long time. I can't wait to show you around this place. Don't forget, if you love urban exploration videos with a China twist, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to ding, ding, ding that bell for great new videos from Burbex, Brin's Urban Exploration every week. Let's go. <laughs> I love this place. I'm walking through the forest by the lake, searching, trying to find a trace. Chill. Oh, this is really nice. Look at this office. There's a poker table, man. Texan hold, Texas Hold'em. That's amazing. This is such a cool office. These have been used as ashtrays, but I think they're actually calligraphy ink parts. This is actually a bit of an odd exploration for me because I've lived in Shanghai about five years now and I've been past this place so many times. Recently, they knocked down the outside wall. I think they're gonna demolish this place. That means that I've come in here for the first time and this place is pristine. It's like nobody had been in this office for 10 years maybe. It's absolutely perfect and you can tell that this guy had a lot of money to throw around. Let's take a look around it. Well, what every fancy office needs is a, a globe. You can see that we are just here. And you can see we're next to the Yolo Sea. They obviously put a lot of thought and attention into this map. Whoa, somebody had really magic handwriting. That is beautiful handwriting. Some stuff for Buddhists. It's a bit of a strange thing. Maybe that's his girlfriend. Definitely not his wife. Ah. Lots and lots of photos. How strange. I'm guessing that these two guys are the CEOs of this company because their faces are everywhere on the walls. It looks like that this was their project. We're currently in this building right here, but the rest of these buildings, they never got built. Maybe it was a bit ahead of its time because they've built a huge shopping mall near here just in the last five or six years. Yeah, it looked like it would have been pretty nice. Well, look, these are the two guys who established this place. I think that's Jadding Old Town. Like these are photos from 1992. Oh, that's a really weird photo. Is their kid gonna join the army? Oh, this one looks even older. What the fuck is that? It's like a dead body in a glass case. Hey, this one's kind of cool. Got the 1990s vibe. Look, they were still in those blue workers' uniforms. Odd communist worker uniforms. This one looks like it had some kind of, oh yeah, look, Nanxiang Jian. That's where we are right now, some kind of conference. I guess they've been praying hard to the God of Wealth. And there's a Buddha there as well. I love this office. 
And look, I think these are the two CEOs. Kind of a strange pair, aren't they? It's amazing that this office hasn't been ransacked. <gasps> What's this? Oh, look at this bag. Oh, that's really thrashed. Like there's receipts in here from 2000. Has this been, has this place been closed since 2000? And of course there's the tea table, a very important part of Chinese business culture. Oh, this is black goji berries. So much stuff in here. The pictures here are amazing though. Look at this old guy. He looks pretty pissed off. And look, this grinning boy again. This guy loves to smile, doesn't he? Yeah, that's a grinning boy. And I guess this is them digging the foundations for this building. She doesn't look very confident about the project. What does it say? Shanghai Xian An Shi Ye Yong Gong Se Yu Xian Gong. What really surprises me about this office is that it hasn't been completely ransacked already. I mean, yeah, it's in pretty bad shape. It's pretty dusty, but most of the things are here. Somebody's been through here with a fine tooth comb trying to find all the valuables, but a lot of the bigger things have been left behind. It's amazing this is still remaining. I'm gonna go around and check out the rest of this building, see what else we can find. Maybe we can find some other offices. Oh my God, I think this door has been locked a very long time. Oh, there's an old laptop. Sony Vio. It's an old laptop, Sony Vio. And this says it's been abandoned since 2005. Wow, look at the size of this TV, it's huge. This is like a Sony Triniton with huge speakers around the back. I wonder if anything is on the TV. Abandoned parking lot. Abandoned limousines. Abandoned Rolls Royces. Video, top right hand corner. The project is mostly overgrown now. Completely forgotten. So I saw this car on the way in and I thought it was a bit unusual because it looks like it's been here a long time. It's an older model of Buick and it has Xinjiang plates. Up when I was in the office though, I kind of put two and two together. A lot of the script, the handwriting from the CEO's desk looked very kind of fancy, more Arabic style. So I suspect that the CEO was from Xinjiang. It's obvious that he's just done a runner, like left this project to fail, which is kind of sad because it would have been a nice project. It's in a kind of nice area. This car as well, I love it. It's so 1990 style. Let's take a look at that. See, it's got Xinjiang plates. Xin is for Xinjiang. It's an old Buick. Can't open it though. This would have been a very fancy car 20 years ago. Oh, it still smells like leather. Look at the tape deck. I love it. What a cool tape deck. Oh my God, is he really gushing about an old Buick? What's wrong with this guy? 